Hey guys, welcome back to another Managing Force tutorial. In today's video, I'm going to be advancing on my drawers tutorial, which I made previously, in which we can open and close different drawers here. And what we're going to be doing today is having it so we can pick up objects out of these drawers. So in this example, I'm going to be picking up a note, so the note will be in a drawer. You look in the drawer, pick it up, it'll be on your screen, you can put it back down. So it's just something very simple like that. You can use this on anything you want. And you can also just use this as a general note tutorial as well on picking up a note. Like I say, this is for picking up objects out of a drawer. So let me show you what this is going to look like now. So we're going to go into first person. I'm going to open this drawer here. So you can see we have the note in there. I can then pick up the note like that. It says note, hi, I'm Matt Asplund. I can press E to put it back down and then close the drawer again. Now I've only got these red lines as I was testing out earlier. I forgot to turn those off. But obviously you don't need those in the actual game. That's just the line trace which we can turn off afterwards. We can still open all the other drawers, I just haven't put any objects in them, but we can do that like so. So like I say, I'll be showing you how to do this today. So let me delete all this code and I'll show you how I've done this. So now that I've done that, what our first step is going to be is we want to create the object we're going to pick up. So again, I'm doing a note in this example, so I'm going to make that now. So what I want to do is I want to right click, go to blueprint class and get an actor. So we're going to make this a blueprint actor. I'm just going to name this one note BP like that or note one BP whatever you want to name it. We'll open it up straight away. And then what I'm going to do in here is I'm going to create the node. So to do that, I'm just going to add a component and add a cube like so. And I'm going to make sure I name this node. Now make sure you remember what you're naming this or just name it note or whatever the object is. As we're going to be using the name later on. So remember what you've called it. You can obviously check back again later if you, got, if you can't remember, but just keep a note of it. And then I'm going to scale this down to the sizes which I found to be good earlier. So for me that was about minus 0 0.33 on the x, minus 0 0.23 on the y, and then the z will be 0 0.000344. Now obviously you don't need to make it that specific or these exact numbers. These are just the ones I found to be quite good earlier. And once we've done that, we're going to want to create a material for this. So we could just put a text render on it, but I'm going to be doing it slightly differently. I've created an actual image to be my note, so you can do that as well. Now, this is very simple. I haven't made this special or unique, made it look nice or anything. I've simply just done text, so it looks like this. I've just simply put note, hi, I'm Matt Asplund, on a portrait A4 piece of paper. So we can then import this back into our Unreal here. So I'm just going to simply drag and drop it in. I just named mine note one like so. So you see we have that there now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click on this and create material and I've now got note one mat as well. So I'm going to open that up straight away. We have this material here, but as you can see we've got the texture sample going into the base color of the note material there, which is how we want it. Now with my specific one, I'm going to edit this a little bit to rotate it and stuff. You don't need to do that if you don't want to or if your specific image doesn't require that but mine does. So just in case yours does as well, I'll show you how to do that. So for me, what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click and get a custom rotator, plug in the rotated values into the UVs of the texture sample there. The UVs of the custom rotator, I want to get texture coordinate, plugging that in there like so. The rotation center wants just to be a constant value. So I'll hold down one, back click to get that. And this is going to be a value of 90. It's going to be a rotation center. And then the rotation angle wants to be a constant two vector. So I'm going to hold on two and left click. I'm going to set these to 0 0.75 and 0 0.75. Now these might be different for you depending on your image obviously. So again, customize the values for you, but these are the ones which I'm going with. And obviously as well, you might not even need to do this. It's all just dependent on your image. So I've done that, I'm going to hit apply and then wait for this to load. And I'll also change the preview here to be a cube like so. And now we should see what this is going to look like on a cube. So it's going to look like this. You can see it's rotated that way, which is how I want it. So that works perfectly. If we go back into our note BP here, what we can do is if we still have the material selected, we can just hit that little arrow there. And now we have note one mat in there. And you can see on the note, I have note hi, I'm Matt Husband. So that's now working perfectly for me. So I have the note here. And that is all we need to do in here. So we can compile, save, and we can close both of those as we don't need to open up the note BP or material anymore. So that is the note set up. Now we need to include this so it is in our drawers and the player can pick it up. So to do that, I'm going to open up my drawers BP, which again, I made in a previous episode. So for me, that's content, drawers, drawers BP there. I'm going to open that up like so. Once we're in here, we can go over to the viewport and we're going to add a component and we're going to add a child actor like so. And I'm going to name this note. 
naming in here doesn't matter too much but obviously it just makes more sense to me and then we're going to decide which drawer we want to put it in so i want to put it in this top left one up here so i'm going to select the top left drawer and move it out into its open position which for me is 30 on the x and then i'm just going to simply drag and drop this note in here so i've got the note here what i'm also going to do is set the child actor class so what blueprint this is to be my note bp there and now we have that in there like so and then i'm going to simply just place this in the drawer where i'd like it so i'm going to turn off the snapping and just gently lower this into the drawer to where i want it to be so i think there's going to be a good value maybe rotate it a little bit as well so i think that is going to be good for me to put the note there and now again if we reselect the drawer we can see that it's this one so you can obviously rename these to be top left drawer all of that to make it more helpful for you but when you know which drawer it is in the components list up here we just simply drag and drop our note onto there now what this means is when the drawer moves the note moves with it so that works perfectly so now we're going to put the drawer back into its close position and now we have a note in our drawer like so so that works great now there's one thing you might need to do is what we're going to do so we're going to select that drawer again and if we double click the static mesh there what you may need to do in order for this to work later on when we're going to be using a line trace is you might need to change its collision complexity from project default to use complex collision as simple just so that we can then go inside of it as well so i'll show you if we use simple collision it doesn't work as well if we use complex then you can see it's going all inside of it as well it's not just going to be a box around it we can go inside and obviously pick up the note which is what we want so i'm going to save and close that just make sure that you've got the collision working well for you otherwise it won't work so once you've done that we can go to the event graph in here like so and we're going to find our line trace once you've got the line trace we're going to go off of this cast to static mesh here so it's checking to see if this line trace is hitting a static mesh component if it does then that's great it's going to hit our note so what we're going to do is out of the static mesh ref here we're going to come out of that i'm going to get object name now this is where we're going to be using the name i said earlier which is why i said to remember it so we're going to be checking to see if this is a note out of the return value we're going to get an equal equal so equal equal string like so and putting note in the bottom there or whatever you named it making sure it's spelt the exact same way so again if it hits a static mesh component it's going to check to see if it's a note so to check we need to get a branch so we can hold down b left click to get a branch like so place the condition into that equal equal there this execution is going to go into the set static mesh like so now actually i'll leave that up there now false so if this isn't a note we're going to go back into this branch we already have continue with the rest of the code true we're going to do something else so we press e to hear line trace it's going to hit a static mesh if it does it's going to see if it's a note if it isn't a note it's going to open the drawer and if it is a note it's going to do what we want it to do elsewhere and what we want it to do is pick it up so to do that we're going to set a boolean we're going to hit the plus variable and this boolean is going to be called holding note now this is just something for us to do so we can then drop it again afterwards so once we've created that we're going to set that off of the true there setting it also to true then after this we want to hide the note itself so we can't see it in the drawer so it's like the player's picked it up so to do that we're going to come back out of the static mesh ref again and we're going to get owner this is then going to get the actor of the note return value of that we're going to set actor hidden in game we're going to tick the new hidden to be true and plug that off the set holding note there so what it's going to do is it's basically just going to hide the note in the drawer so we can't see it anymore which is what we want so it looks like the player's picked it up out of this we're going to create a widget and this is going to be our note so the player can see it i'm going to set that up in a minute out of the return value of this i'm going to promote to a variable but let's set up the actual note widget first so what we're going to do is we're going to minimize this i'm going to go back to my pickups here i'm going to right click go to user interface create a widget blueprint i'm going to call this note widget like so i'm going to open this up straight away in here what i'm going to do is i'm going to get an image so just drag and drop an image in there and i'm going to set the size x of this to be 480 and the size y to be 720 so we have this portrait box here and this is how big the note is going to be on the player screen so i think that looks good i'm going to set the anchor to be the center of the screen so it doesn't move about and i'm just going to move this so it's also centered along with it as well so i think that's going to look good and now we need to put an image on here so we're going to use the same material of our note blueprint but we're going to have to modify a bit so we're going to minimize this again i'm going to right click on note one mat and we're going to duplicate it so then we have note one mat widget or whatever you want to name it then we can open that up and the only thing we need to do in here 
is we can delete the custom rotator so we just have the texture sample going into the output and we just change the material domain from surface to user interface and if we apply that now we can use this in a widget and the reason we got rid of the rotator is because we don't really need that in the widget it's only in the blueprint and again that was only for my specific image as well so in the RGB we went to the final color we can apply and save that and go back to our note widget here and if we press the arrow we have our note one matte widget there now that's transparent at the moment but we so we just need to wait for it to load and now it's loaded you can see we have this on here and this looks great so we have our note on this widget like so and that's all we need to do in there so we can again close the widget and close the material now back in our draws bp here this create widget we're going to now set to be our note widget there the return value of this we're going to right click promote to variable and just call this note ref like so out of this we're going to simply just add to viewport so what it's doing is creating a reference which we're going to use later to take it off the screen and it's adding it to the players viewport as well so they can see it so this here is the code of actually picking it up so let me just select that and comment it just to call pick up note and then after this we're going to go all the way back to the start of our code and we're just going to move this input action interact out a little bit as we want to do a bit of code in here you just want to basically check to see if the player is holding the note so that's very simple so what we're going to do is we're going to hold down b left click to get a branch plugging that into the pressed there then we're going to get holding note so get there and what i'm going to do is i'm going to come up this and get a not boolean plugging that into the condition there so what it's going to check is if the holding note is not true so the only reason i've done that is so i can then come out of true and go into that branch there instead of false just so it looks a lot cleaner but you can just do holding note if that makes more sense for you. So holding note true. So holding note true obviously means we are holding the note. But for me, holding note not true means we're not holding the note. So just pick whichever one makes more sense for you. But I'm just doing it so it looks cleaner. So like I say, not holding the note is true. That is going to go into the rest of the code we already have. So we can then either open the drawer or we can check to see if we want to pick up a note. Off of false, so we are holding the note. We want to stop holding the note so the player can press e to put it down again so to do that we're going to simply set holding note to be false again as the player has now put it down we're going to set can open to be true so the player can now open drawers again so they can check so if they want to pick up a note open the drawer anything like that and then we're going to get the note ref that we just made we're going to come out of this and we're going to remove from parent so this is going to take the widget off of our screen so the player is no longer looking at it and then we just want to re-enable the note in the drawer. So to do that, what I'm going to do is actually I'm just going to get the static mesh ref that we made earlier. So static mesh ref there, get that. Out of this, I'm going to get the owner once again. And the return value of that, I'm going to set actor hidden in game. This time leaving it unticked so it is visible. So the player can now see it in the drawer again. And now that should work perfectly like so. So we can compile and save that and actually I'll comment this part as well to be put down note like so. So now this should work well for us. So if we compile and save this, we can minimize and hit play to test this. So if you go first person, we can press E, we can still open the drawer and we can still open the other drawers as well. And if we press E on the note, you can see it's no longer in the drawer. And we have the note on screen just saying note, hi I'm Asmund, again, whatever you want. We press E again, it's going to put the note back in there. Then we can open and close these drawers again as we want so that works perfectly now if you're using my drawer set that i've got here you may notice a small issue that you sometimes may be able to pick up the note without opening the drawer but obviously it's very rare and that's just because of the collision on this certain drawer set but obviously you can see i can't actually do it now as it's very rare that it does happen but this works perfectly so we can pick up the note after opening the drawer so that works great so i think that'll be it for this video is we've done everything we want to do we set it up so we can still open and close these drawers like so and once we do open them we can pick up an object in this case it is a note and put it on our screen and we can put it back down and then close the drawers again so that works perfectly so thanks so much for watching i hope you enjoyed and i hope you found it helpful and if you did make sure to like and subscribe down below so thanks so much for watching and i'll see you in the next one